Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 25th going to the 31st of December, so the very last week of 2023. So let's dive in, let's see what's going on for you guys. All right, for Leo's, please, spirit. All right, for Leo. Oops, we do have two. I'm going to take this one, which was facing me, and this one jumped out here. All right, okay. So you have clean it up and you have flexible. Clean it up card says to me that this week you will be called into a leadership position, whether it's in your work, whether it's just in your life in general. You guys are really taking the lead, all right? You're taking a step up. You guys are dealing with things that maybe you've been postponing for a while, things that may, you know, you might be clearing the air this week, just dealing with things that have not been so, not been so great. You, you know, usually this card comes up when we've, been through a tower moment been dealing with some really difficult stuff maybe it's you know toxic patterns is what i'm hearing people you know maybe you've just dealt with a quite a difficult situation separation falling out or you were dealing with a lot of you know um backlog is the word that comes to mind here so you know a lot of hardship might have been going on for you but the clean up card tells me that you guys are stepping into a leadership position you guys are dealing with it with dealing with it with grace <laughs> you're stepping up here is what it feels like here and you are clearing the path for better things so that's coming through expect some hard work or a lot of work coming up for you guys this week but you also have flexible as well which is kind of saying here that you are i'm almost seeing i'm almost seeing this part of yourself intuitively or maybe you just know that there is something in the near future that is you know um coming in that's very important to have the right space for so let's say for example it is an egg it's a baby for example um uh i'm trying to find a good example that most people can resonate with let's just say your body knows that there is an egg coming all right you know um imagine the egg representing a new beginning bringing something to life whether it's project whatever it is um it's almost like instinctively this week you will know it maybe before you actually see it or you know truly know it that you'll know it intuitively because your body is just going to immediately want to clear space get rid of this get rid of that you know um bad energy i have with this person let me clear the air here let me deal with this here let me actually you know finally clear out you know that room that always has you know all this stuff in it and it's for a reason you know ending up you end up actually going I'm going to move home. So the fact that you cleared that room out is great. Um, or the fact that you cleared air with someone before you left the country ends up being working well for you. It's almost like that's the energy I'm seeing here is you're clearing space and something almost immediately enters it. And then you realize, actually, I know why I felt the way I needed, to, you know, I knew I needed to do that for some reason. Flexible card tells me that in the near future, you are being called for flexibility. Um, it feels like things are going to go a different route than what you expected and anticipated so um when we have the flexible card it's saying here that you will have a really good outcome you are bringing something to life you're birthing something into your reality here um but it's saying like the route to get there may not be the one that you expected okay so things might look a little bit different but that's why the clean up card that leadership position is coming in because it says that you are completely capable of calling the shots and of dealing with things um even though things are a little bit unprecedented and unpredictable this week and moving forward probably anyway let's dive in let's see what else is going on for you guys leos for leos please spirit you have two cards again you have openness again that's you clearing space by the way full moon could be significant of course but what the full moons really represent is like an ending of a cycle you're completing something which again that's what you are doing you're dealing with some like um you're dealing with a backlog like i said it's something of the past that you're clearing up now to clear space for something new in your life so that's why openness is coming through you also have fulfillment so again, kind of like the fertility near that full moon there lingering too. It's like the full moon that you make the decision and clear things out. And this is not exactly a full moon. I mean, I don't know. It's hidden behind the clouds here. But it almost feels like a little while later, you see the fulfillment of it. Like this basically exactly what I've been saying. So that's crazy. Let's carry on. Let's see what else is going on for you. There will be some quick growth, by the way. All right. Let's carry on. Let's see. For Leo, please this week. 
three of wands this is a manifesting energy something that you're waiting for anticipating three of pentacle you have two threes already um that does represent being in, in alignment with something uh three of pentacles is also building a plan building a structure of something you also have nine of cups and a hanged woman here which is piscean energy one is of stagnancy or like having to look at something in a different perspective it is a card of stillness though and the nine of cups is wish fulfillment here so let's clarify what the hell they're talking about here <laughs> all right because to me this says that in a moment of like silence almost in a moment of reflection in a moment of looking at life a little bit differently maybe it is that flexibility card okay they're both upside down to be honest the Nine of Cups comes through and says that you kind of get wish fulfillment from that, from that moment. You understand something differently. And I think that is ultimately, sorry about that. All right, let's clarify. Clarify, I don't know why I clicked my tongue there. Let's clarify for you guys, okay? Let's see what the three, almost. Let's see what the three of wands is about here. Ace of Wands. So this could be something that you've been manifesting or just waiting for and anticipating. It is a new beginning. This is a new passionate beginning. So if you again, it could be a buff. I do pick up on that. And I was kind of seeing that imagery um, of like all of a sudden your instincts are telling you to clear out the spare room. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you can now use it as a nursery, like whatever. Um, that's the vibes I'm picking up on. This can also be relocation as well. Another example I did bring up for you guys, or just a new passionate beginning, a new idea that um, you were creating space for, for example. It does feel like something you were manifesting though, even if you didn't realize it, okay? It does bring in good news this week, okay? Three of Pentacles coming in for you guys. Let's see. Page of Swords. This is a card of yes, it could represent people around you, but in this case, especially with the Ace of Swords, um, some of you could be hearing from someone here, and again, it's your chance to, I want to say, make amends. I don't mean that you need to, you know, be with this person or whatever, but it's almost like to kind of clear any triggers that you've had about this and to speak what's on your mind for some. And the Three of Pentacles, that's what's going to help build a new foundation. If you're in a relationship, an example I'm, I'm bringing up for some of you that might need to hear it is that any kind of hostilities that i've been holding on like it's giving you a chance to kind of rebuild together on stronger foundations so the chance to actually speak your truth is coming up to clear the air to speak about something um beneficially this feels very good now for the majority of you this uh, page of salt is also a really good energy about like curiosity research looking into things you know it's a really good card of diving deep which is really good to clarify the three of pentacles when we're building something planning something you are not only planning short term and um you know only fo focusing on the kind of the main things you're going deep you're thinking about the small things the details you know so whatever you are building project idea whatever it is your life moving forward whatever it is this plan is very well thought of and the ace of swords here brings in victory for that okay so um, make sure you speak your mind especially if you guys are collaborating or working with others because this can be very beneficial to you all right now, hanged woman with the nine of cups here. You have the eight of cups and the um, hermit energy. So what's interesting about this is again, hermit is very similar to the, um, the hanged man, hanged woman, whatever it is in this deck, because it's kind of that energy of enlightenment, looking at something differently, looking at something from a higher perspective, you understand. Um, it's almost like being the observer some of you might end up seeing someone, you know, walk away just because maybe you pulled your energy back and, you know, they end up kind of walking away. I don't know. There's a bit of that energy. It could be a friend, could be a colleague, whatever. Um, which ends up being wish fulfillment for you, for example. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Virgo, or this is just your energy. You're becoming someone of wisdom this week, to be honest. Like, you're really coming from a place of, like, a different perspective. Which brings in wish fulfillment because maybe you are understanding what you need to walk away from, what you need to leave behind, what you need to kind of, um, I'm hearing let sit, which makes sense. For some of you, like an issue might resolve itself. The trash might take itself out almost as well. Just got to pull the energy back, like kind of go back within again, see it differently. 
Alrighty, let's see what's happened in the recent past for you guys. Just to have a little look and see what you guys have been up to. Came up reversed. Four of Cups reversed. Interesting. I will clarify that. The Leo. You have the Sun, which is a very good card, and your card as well. And the Eight of Wands. Can I just quickly clarify the Four of Cups first? The reversed. Three of Cups. Okay, I like that. Um, because it's reversed, like usually the Four of Cups, I mean, has the Three of Cups here anyway, but it's kind of too busy thinking about the other one. Like, too busy in its own head, almost, to actually appreciate what it has. Like, you've recently come out of that. Maybe you have had moments of feeling, like, um, a little bit Piscean, to be honest, but it's kind of, like, completely being in a different reality. You know, maybe you've been escaping reality in whatever way, um, or disconnecting from maybe friends, for example, but it feels like you've kind of recently recentered yourself and kind of made those connections again, or, you know, recently kind of... Um, been able to really look at the gratitude that you have even for the small things that you have here which maybe in the past you didn't because this is reverse so it once was a thing uh so this is a really good card it says that there has been some recent celebrations you have the sun card here which is a, the best card in the deck this speaks of happiness this is your energy leo so this speaks of the fact that you guys have been really shining out you guys have been really standing out you've been really embracing joy you've been embracing happiness you've been embracing um optimism all right and facing the sun facing you know positivity and you're the eight of wands they may have been recent opportunities that have led you in a really good direction. This does speak about some sort of change. So again, you paying more gratitude or you kind of stepping out of the imagination and actually taking action on things that you have in your life um, is actually what's leading you towards a really positive direction. All right. Um, again, communication may have happened in the past here that has helped in some way. Okay, let's move forward. Let's see in your near future for you guys, Leo. You have six of cups. There's some nostalgia coming up. There might be some past people coming up. It is, I think, I believe, a Mercury retrograde. So that could be the reason why. See, near future, please. The walls. Again, some of you, this will be children. This can also be a card that represents soulmates. So maybe you are just connecting with people in the future. In the near future, okay? And it's going to be very important. Um, the wild card coming in. Did I show you that? That's a new beginning. That is a brand new beginning, a new cycle. And the Queen of Cups, a very emotional one, I will say. One of a lot of happiness. I'm hearing resilience too with that Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck here. It will bring challenge. I think there will always be a challenge <laughs> in life. That's just it. But this is something that you are resilient and like you are ready to face it. And despite what happens, you will be successful in this new chapter of your life. But let's dive in. I want to see what the Six of Cups is about here. It's nostalgia. You guys will probably be placing a lot of boundaries on some people in your life here. Um, the Queen of Swords, you've been through a lot, is what it tells me. And you might be reflecting on moments where you have been through that. All right. Queen of Swords protects her heart space. She has boundaries. She's very clear on those. She's not afraid to speak her mind if she needs to. Um... So Six of Cups, you, I mean, this could be a air sign energy who you could be connecting with in the near future. But again, there's a boundary there. There is like, yeah, five of ones there as I'm saying that. This is someone that you were in conflict with. You could be just reflecting on it, reminding yourself of it in the near future. Or there could be something coming up to do with that, okay? The wild card. Um, we have the Knight of Swords. So we're getting a very quick... Um, Mastage could be coming away in regards to a new beginning here. Let's just clarify one more. A really quick new beginning happens here. Or again, quick results. Um, this is about fertility with that rabbit on the bottom. So again, bringing something to life, stability, okay? Having a luxury, feeling very comfortable and grounded is coming your way very quickly because of this new cycle, new beginning. Queen of Cups, please. Two of Pentacles, needing to balance your emotions. I see you being very busy in the near future. But just make sure you are also spending some time to focus on your emotions because there is a lot of them <laughs> coming through here. Or again, if this is a person, it could be a water sign. Someone might need a little bit of your... Um, you might need to check up on someone in the near future here because I think you'll be very busy. This could be a relationship, for example, or just someone um, who's not the one that kind of would reach out to tell you they you know, have some problems or a need to vent this is not someone who does that but you know 
if you ask them how they're doing, they'll tell you, but they won't, they feel like, uh, this is someone who feels a little bit like they don't want to, I don't want to ruin Leo's day, you know, that's the feeling I'm getting, so make sure you are checking up on that person, or that could be needing to check up on yourself. And you're the king of pentacles here, so there is a couple coming through here, so you guys could be in a relationship in the near future, or already be in, in which case it'll be a lot more stable, and this could just be your energy though, to be honest, of just becoming very stable. If you are single and meeting someone in this new beginning, um, this definitely will be the romance of a lifetime is what I'm feeling, meaning that uh, this is your person, okay, someone who you can build with, grow with, um, there's a lot of stability there, to be honest with you. Okay, and growth. Okie dokie, let's get you some tea leaf tarot. Let's get some random messages for you guys for the week to close out your reading. One more. Thank you. All right, you have camel. Persevere and you will overcome problems. You have a chain of events that will affect your life. I know it. It's, this is a chain of events. You have Al. Great advice from a wise person is coming through for you guys. You have a purse here. Pay attention to your finances this week. There might be some discord amongst family or friends. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. There will be a short journey coming up for you guys. And a distant friend is thinking of you. Okay? My angels, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I hope this reading helped in some way and resonated. Let me know if it did. Uh, thank you for being here, my lovely angels. And I hope to see you guys next time. All right.